Hi, my name is Gary. I represent Electrical Terminal Service and today I would like to explain how ferrules work, what they are, how they benefit you, and show you a few tools and options for crimping them. A ferrule consists of a copper tube that's tin plated with a nylon insulation on it. Uh, these are very different than standard terminals and take a specialized tool. Uh, with a ferrule, I'm crimping the tube, whereas with a standard terminal, I would crimp the insulation. Ferrules are available from 250 MCM, which is considerably larger than this, to very small ferrules that are quite a bit smaller than these, down to 28 gauge. So 250 MCM to 28 gauge. Ferrules also are available in twins. The twin has a, an elongated body on it that can take two different wires, insert it in, the wire strands go down the tube, and they're crimped just like any other ferrule. Let's look at a 12 gauge wire with the terminal already crimped onto the end of it. It has flats on the side, I can insert it into my set screw and I've got 100% contact between my wire strands and my contact point. On the other hand, if we use the old way and just had some stranded wire that was going to be inserted underneath that set screw, what you'll find is you're only going to get about 50% contact because the wire strands will begin to fan out once there's pressure placed on the stranding, uh, which isn't a very effective way to uh, assure good contact. Ferrules are something that are typically used in the Asian market or in the European market. In the United States, they're not mandatory like they are overseas. The first time you see ferrules could be when you're working on a foreign machine. Let's demonstrate some tools now. I have three of the most popular tools that most of our electricians uh, favor. The first one is a fair tool roto. The fair tool roto uh, is called a roto because you can rotate the head 90 degrees. I can crimp from straight on, I can crimp from the side. Uh, it's a fully ratcheted mechanism. It has ergonomic handles. It also has just one die so that you can crimp 28 gauge all the way up to 10 gauge. In this particular case, let's take a 14 gauge wire, slip on a 14 gauge ferrule so that the insulation is in the nylon and the strands are running down the tube. I'll switch my roto so it goes straight on so you can see. I slip it into the tool and I crimp it. It puts an indent on one side so it'll slip under the set screw wonderfully and makes 100% contact. I want to demonstrate is a gun type tool. It has a very smooth gun action on it. It has a elongated metallic body that is good for reaching into a, a confined space where I can crimp on a ferrule in an area I can't come from the side on a typical crimping tool. It has a square crimp on the end. And again, I can take a 14-gauge uh, uh, ferrule slip it onto some 14 gauge wire and then put the entire ferrule in the end of the tool and crimp it. It makes a square crimp that fits very neatly underneath that terminal block and the set screw. We carry our fair tool 2810 in a kit form. Five different sizes including the tool. Our last tool is really a tool that we see most often in companies that are doing an awful lot of crimping of ferrules. They're building panels, uh, they're doing big machines with an awful lot of wires. This tool is interesting because it is made out of fiberglass, it's wonderful for the field, it's lightweight. It strips, cuts, and crimps. It takes a belt of 50 terminals that are fed through a cam through the handle of the tool. These belts come in any size 
from 22 gauge to 14 gauge. This is an 18 gauge. The one I have in it is a 14 gauge. I close the handle and I can begin to use the tool. I take my 14 gauge wire, put it into the end, strip it, and then turn around and slip the wire into the ferrule, engage the cam by pushing slightly, and crimp. And I've got a nice crimp. I can do this to an awful lot of wires very quickly. I can put ferrules on, I can apply ferrules three times as fast as I can with a standard hand tool. So if I'm in a semi-production mode, I can really increase my output without increasing my manpower. It's a affordable tool compared to a fully automated crimping machine for ferrules.